Barney loves all of his animal friends, so to help endangered animals, he made a donation to the San Diego Zoo's Crest Program. <laughs> told me that elephants run on their tiptoes like this. Oh, oh. Derek, you're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Moving like animals can be lots of fun. Let's try it with a little music. <laughs> oh, we can waddle like a duck, hop like a froggy, fly like an eagle too. We can slither like a snake, gallop like a horse, that's what we can do. <laughs> okay, let's have some fun now. Mm, someone pick an animal and we'll move like it does. <laughs> okay, let's waddle like a duck. All right. Quack, 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 quack. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Quack, 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 quack. Quack, 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 quack. Quack, 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 quack. Quack, 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 quack. Hop like a froggy. Ooh. Let's go. Fly like an eagle. <laughs> Up in the sky. Slither <laughs> like a snake. Oh, oh, hiss. Slither, slither, hiss. <laughs> hiss. Gallop like a horse. We just waddle like a duck, hop like a froggy, flew like an eagle too. We slither like a snake, gallop like a horse, that's what we did do. That's what we did do. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> I'm glad there's so many different animals, but Barney, why do some live in zoos? Well, many animals live far, far away from us. Zoos let us see animals from all over the world in one place. Zoos try to make the animals' new home just like their old home. Mm -hmm. And zoos protect endangered animals, too. Endangered? Endangered means there aren't very many left. So the zoo is a safe place for those animals to live. Mm -hmm. Hey, why don't we all make another zoo? Bigger than that one, Ooh. with lots more animals. Tina and I can make some signs. Okay, what animals should we have in our zoo? Mm -hmm. I know, let's use the alphabet to help us think of animal names. Oh, okay. We may not be able to use all the letters of the alphabet, but let's give it a try. <laughs> Let's get started! We're on our way to the alphabet zoo. Oh, whoops, here's a sign. S 
S-T-O-P. That's Bell Stop. Ooh, be sure to stop and watch out for cars when you see this sign. We should always stop, look, and listen. Right, Barney? That's right, Julie. Okay, everybody. Now look both ways before crossing. <laughs> Okay then, let's go! Oh my, here's another sign! What do these two R's mean? R, R stands for railroad. Some zoos have little railroad chains that you can ride in around the zoo. Oh boy, oh boy, I love to ride on a train. Is that a train I hear coming now? Another sign. Yeah, yes. Z O O. That spells zoo. Yeah. The arrow says to go this way, so let's go in and see all the animals in our zoo. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Barney, we'll show you our ABC animals first. Oh, ABC animals, great. <laughs> A is for alligator. For bear. And C must be for. Uh, what is C for? You have to read this rhyme and guess, Barney. Oh, a guessing game. Oh, I love guessing games. Oh, 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 thank you. Hmm, let's see what the rhyme says about our mystery animal. <clears throat> if you ride on my back, you'll go bumpity bump. I live in the desert and have one or two humps. Who am I? Hmm. Hmm. Let's see, what could it be? An animal that lives in the desert, has a hump on its back, and a name that starts with C. Is it a camel? <laughs> oh, oh, boy! Hi, for camel. Oh, I've seen camels with one hump and camels with two humps, but there's only one camel with five humps. Sally the camel. <laughs> Sally is 
is a horse. Of course. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's look at more animals. Okay. okay. <laughs> e is for elephant. F is for fish. Hey, everybody. Mm -hmm. See if you can guess the next zoo animal. Oh, okay. This animal's name starts with the letter G. And here's a riddle about him. I'm spotted all over from head to toe. My neck's very long. Who am I? Do you know? Hmm. Spotted all over. Mm -hmm. A leopard has spots. Is it a leopard? Try again. Giraffes have spots. Well, they sure do. And a long neck, too. That's right again. <laughs> Is it a giraffe? That's right. Oh. G for giraffe. Oh, good job. Oh, and here oh. he is. Oh, oh I look, it is a giraffe. But it made the tail mm -hmm. and the does have a still. long neck. I read about a bird in this book. It makes it sound like he's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> laughing? Really? Mm -hmm. What bird is it? Its name starts with the letter K for kookaburra. Oh, <laughs> kookaburra. That's a funny name. Kookaburra. 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 Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. Merry, merry king of the bushes, he laugh. Kookaburra, laugh. Kookaburra, day your life must be. <laughs> Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree, eating all the gumdrops he can see. Stop, Kookaburra, stop. Kookaburra, leave some there for me. Sits in the old gum tree, merry, merry king of the bushes. He laugh, cougar laugh, cougar gay. Your life must be. Cougar sits in the old gum tree, eating all the gum drops he can see. Stop, cougar stop, cougar leave some there for me. <laughs> I've never seen a kookaburra. Where do they live? They live far away in a place called Australia. I have an aunt who's been there. She's visiting us this week and said she would come to see our school today. Oh, really? Right. Has your aunt really been to Australia? Uh-huh. She's traveled all over the world. And when she comes home, she always brings something back for me. <laughs> goody, goody. <laughs> I wouldn't miss a chance to see your classroom and meet your friends. I already met Jason. He was outside playing with friends and helped me find you. Thanks, Jason. You're welcome. Aunt Molly, these are my other friends. Tina, Derek, Sean, and Barney. Everybody, this is my Aunt Molly. Hi, my Hi Aunt there. Molly. Oh, I've wanted to meet you for a long time, Molly. Julie has told me all about you and the stories you tell. <laughs> Thank you, Barney. I just love telling stories. Good. My, what a nice classroom you have. And, ooh, I like this zoo. We made it today. The animals' names begin with different letters of the alphabet. C, M is for monkey. Oh. All these animals remind me of a story I know. 
Would you like to hear it? Oh, please. Yeah, sure. Okay. But I'll need some help telling it. Okay. You all can make a hopping rabbit, oh, 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 oh. a fox with a bushy tail, mm. a grouchy wolf, <laughs> and a buzzing bee. Once there was a boy who had three goats. Every morning, he would take the goats to the pasture to play. And every evening, he would take them to sleep at the barn. But one evening, the goats jumped the fence into the garden and began to eat the vegetables. The boy tried to get them out of the garden. He pulled on them with the rope. He clapped his hands. He called their names. But the goats wouldn't even look up. So the boy sat down and started to cry. And at that very moment, a little rabbit came hopping up. Boy, why are you crying? Well, I'm crying because I can't get my goats out of the garden. Ah, that's easy. I'll do it. So the little rabbit hopped into the garden. He waved his floppy ears and he twitched his little cotton tail, but the goats wouldn't even look up. So the rabbit sat down next to the boy and he started to cry. <laughs> and at that very moment, a fox came running through the pasture. <sighs> rabbit, why are you crying? Well, I'm crying because the boy is crying, and the boy is crying because he can't get the goats out of the garden. <laughs> oh, that's easy. I'll do it. So the fox ran into the garden, and she flashed her bushy tail, but the goats wouldn't even <laughs> look up. <laughs> so the fox sat down and she started to cry. And at that very moment, a wolf came walking down the road. <laughs> Fox, why are you crying? Well, I'm crying because the rabbit's crying, and the rabbit's crying because the boy is crying, and the boy is crying because he can't get his goats out of the garden. That's easy. I'll do it. I've been looking for someone to scare all day. So the wolf sneaked into the garden. And he jumped out at the goats. And he made faces at the goats. He even huffed and puffed. But the goats wouldn't even look up. So the wolf sat down and he started to cry. And at that very moment, a little bumblebee came buzzing up. And she said, Wolf, oh, why are you crying? Well, I'm crying because the fox, the fox is, is crying, crying, and the, the fox, fox is crying, crying because the rabbit's crying, and the rabbit's crying because the boy is crying, and the boy is crying because he can't get his goats out of the garden. Well, that's easy. I'll do it. And everybody stopped crying. A little bumblebee was going to get those goats out of the garden. Well, she buzzed into the garden, and she buzzed around those goats, and she landed on the nose of the very biggest one. And you know what that bumblebee did? She began to dance, a little dance. And the goat began to laugh a little bit <laughs> until he saw what was making him laugh. A bee! He jumped into the air, and the goats ran out of the garden. One, two, three. <laughs> the little bumblebee buzzed away. The wolf walked back down the road. The fox ran back through the pasture. The rabbit hopped into the garden. And the boy took the goats back to the barn. Oh, yay! Yeah! <laughs>
That was great! Thank you for the fun story, Molly! Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, terrific. I'm glad you all liked it. Mm -hmm. Well, I better be going now. I'm helping your dad cook dinner tonight. Oh. Okay, well, well, I see you. Oh, that's so much again, fun. Again, yeah. <laughs> May I? Thank you, Barney. Oh, Bye, certainly. Bye. <laughs> well, goodbye, Molly. Thanks for coming today. I loved your story. Oh, hope to see you again soon. <laughs> Oh, what was that? Oh, well. Oh, my tummy must be growling. I haven't had my afternoon snack. <laughs> Whoa. That wasn't my tummy growling. That sounds like a... That sounds like a... Zoo has been so much fun. Yeah. But Barney, we still have one more animal. We do? Which one is that? One of our very favorite animal friends. Oh. His name starts with the very last letter of the alphabet. Hmm. The last letter of the alphabet is... Z! Oh. That's right. Z is for Zippity. Oh, we couldn't forget our little buddy Zippity. That's right. Oh. Yeah, he's there. We use lots of alphabet letters for our zoo animals, from A to Z. <laughs> Why don't we sing the alphabet song? Good idea, and I can say the alphabet with my hands and fingers, too. With your hands and fingers? Ooh, some people who can't hear very well talk with their hands. It's called signing. <gasps> Watch, I'll show you A, B, C, D, Oh, oh, that looks neat. neat. Yeah. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now we've sung our ABCs. School is where we love to be. I love you, you 
Again to all my friends, I'm glad you came to play. Our fun and learning never ends. Here's what we did today. Did you have as much fun as I did visiting our alphabet zoo? <laughs> you can use all the letters of the alphabet to make your own zoo with your friends. A is for alligator, B is for bear, and C is for camel. <laughs> Our friend Jason showed us how to make letters with our fingers. And he taught me how to sign my absolutely, positively favorite thing to say. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> 